What's up guys? So this week I want to talk to you guys about an extremely exceptional um, experience that I had recently. I've been a touring performer for 10 years, but I had a really, really special event that meant the world to me recently when me and my friend Joel Myers, who you might know because I partnered up with him on Fake Off and on Penn & Teller Fool Us, he's a great performer, and we had a chance to go perform at the Writers and Illustrators of the Future Awards in uh, California. I didn't really know what to expect uh, when I got there. We were going to be the opening act as well as uh, this really big mentalism piece that we were doing towards the end of the show. Uh, it was just such a beautiful event. So when we got there, we started on the red carpet and you know all the guests of honor were there walking the red carpet. Uh, and it was quite overwhelming for us because you know all the media wanted to talk to us about this big trick that we had planned at the end of the night. And we had the amazing opportunity to hang out with Nancy Cartwright. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, Nancy Cartwright is a voice actress, one of the best voice actresses on the planet, who famously does a whole bunch of voices in The Simpsons, including the voice of Bart Simpson. She is a incredible uh, talent, and it was such an honor to meet her and to get her on stage to help us out with our final trick. And that's the reason I'm making this video, because I want to tell you guys about this trick and I want to show you how the whole thing ended. Now I'm not going to show you the whole trick because the whole trick is like 10 minutes long. If you want to see it and you want to make sure you don't miss a single detail, click above over here. You can go to Joel's channel and watch the whole trick from there. I'm just going to talk to you about the highlights of the trick and the final moment because I legitimately believe that this is the most fooling and most deceptive trick that I do on stage in my mentalism show. So basically the way it worked out was this. We came out on stage and we had a little football that we threw out into the audience to random people and had those random people name random elements of a sci-fi story that we were making up right there and then. Given that they're writers, we thought it would be a cool thing to write like a sci-fi story. So the ball went around and people named random elements. They named a planet. It could be any name in the whole world. It could be somebody that you're close to, the name is somebody you're close to, like the most clever name that pops into your head. Christopher, what is the name of our planet? Chow? Ch Chow? It's C-H-A-U. It's C-H-A-U. C-H-A-U. Okay, so yeah, C-H-A-U. -H so, so our location tonight, Christopher, is Planet Chow. Planet Chow. Christopher, I want you to take that ball, toss it to somebody else next to you, wherever you want. You can maybe toss it a little bit further towards the back, something like that. They named a villain, the, the villain of the story. Max, you are going to pick the villain in this story. Now you can inspire yourself from ancient mythology, folk tale, fairy tale, or you can make something up. It could be something like a vampire or something crazy like an army of garden gnomes. Totally up to you. Who's the villain? <laughs> Voldemort? Voldemort. Woo! He who must not be named, you dangerous fellow. Voldemort. V-O-L-D-E-M-O-R-T. Thank you. Uh, you can go ahead and throw the ball anywhere else. They named the weapon we would use. So Maurice, for the first time, what is the object that you see on the kitchen counter. What is the object? A crystal ball. A crystal ball. A crystal, ball. A crystal ball. Perfect. I know how to spell that one. Crystal ball. <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> Yay. Wonderful. Now. And then from a notebook with an assortment of just random names, they picked the name of the hero of our story. All these things were selected with complete randomness. In this notebook, I've written down very common first names, things like Matthew and Daniel. I think there's a Matthew in the room. <laughs> Anthony, uh, Nicholas, as you could see, there are Ryan, John. There are 30 to 40 uh, different first names here. I'm going to come over to you, and with one thumb, I want you to open this up wherever you like. Randomness will dictate the name of our hero. Go ahead, just bring one thumb over and open it up wherever you like. And the name you've opened up at is James. Now, that's a choice you didn't even make. It was completely random. The name of our hero will be James. At that point, we told the audience about a box that was sitting right at the front of the stage in front of them the entire time. We had a couple of guests of honor stand up and confirm that before the show, they signed an envelope that was placed inside that box and it was in front of them the entire time. I showed you an envelope and in that envelope was a piece of paper. You saw that, correct? All three of you signed the envelope in a very unique way so that we can never duplicate it and we can never have an envelope like that one. You saw me seal the envelope and you verified very close, Catherine, you had it in your hands, that there's no other way to access that envelope. No cuts, windows, tears, nothing. It was sealed inside with your signatures on it. Then we took the envelope and what did we do? We put it in, in the box right in front of you. You saw it go in the box. 
We didn't put it next to the box, behind the box, on top of it. We put it inside. You saw it go in there. Then, Nancy, you and Catherine specifically checked the sides, the bottom, the top. You made sure there were no trap doors, no sneaky way of getting anything in and out of that box, right? Perfect. We had Nancy Cartwright come up on stage. For the first time the box was opened, the envelope was removed, and this happened. I'm going to grab that envelope that's been sitting inside here the entire time. Nancy, I want you to verify that your signatures are all there. They're Wonder, all there. You see that? Catherine's your signature there. Larry, is your signature there. Nancy, I want you to verify that envelope is still 100% sealed. 100%, let's see. Yes. No cuts, yeah, no we're openings, good. no windows or slits. No. I'm going to tear that open at my fingertips, and I want you to see that inside there is that very same piece of paper that was there in the beginning. Nancy, I want you yes. to take that out for the first time. So Nancy, you are going to unfold that. I want you to read exactly as that's, what that says, exactly as it's written. Okay. And remember, this has been sitting here in front of you since the beginning, since we showed it to you. Go ahead and read it right now, Nancy, okay. for us. <clears throat> Our story takes place on planet Chow. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Where a mighty hero defeats a Voldemort. There's no R in that one either, except that. <laughs> <laughs> With the use of a crystal ball, I'm not kidding. Oh, and the hero's name is James! Everybody give Nancy a big round of applause. Come on! The audience went absolutely nuts. I mean, as you could see from her expression, but also in the audience, afterwards we went back out to the red carpet and people could not believe what happened. They just didn't have a single explanation as to how the heck we could have possibly predicted all that. My favorite part was when Nancy caught up with us again after the show and gave us this little testimonial in Bart Simpson's voice. Yeah, right there. They're so great. You've got to see them. You've got to look them up. You Google them. Find out where they're performing. They're, I mean, like, I can run, but they're amazing. <laughs> that was fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank amazing. You. Oh, what a highlight, right? Like, in Bart Simpson's voice saying, I caramba, they're amazing. Like, what a classic Bart Simpson thing to say. For us, it meant so much because we grew up watching The Simpsons. So, as you could see, our reaction in the video. Anyways, it was such a magical night, such an amazing event. I hope you guys enjoyed that trick as well. Once again, if you want to see the whole trick from beginning to end, uh, click the link that I put earlier or go down in the description. I'll put the video down there as well. And you can watch the whole trick from beginning to end. And I would love for you to tell me how you think I did it because every single person in that room, in fact, every single person I do this to who comes to my show has no clue how I did this. This has even fooled a bunch of magicians because the box is right there in front of them. They sign it, it goes in, it stays in there. So a lot of magicians just can't figure out when any of the magic happened. So let me know in the comments how you think I did the trick. Okay, now before I go, I do wanna announce the winner of last week's contest. Thank you so much to everybody who participated. I'm really glad you guys enjoyed some of the TV interviews that I did. If you haven't seen that video, click above over here. It was a lot of fun. And the winner is Nicholas, and I'm not sure how to say the last name, so I'm not even gonna try, S-T-E-H-L-E. -E. Congratulations, thanks for watching, thanks for commenting. Uh, reach out to me and I will send you your prize, which is an awesome coin vanishing trick from my LA vlog. Thanks to everyone who watched. Remember to subscribe, comment, let me know what you thought of the video, and I will see you next time.